friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another Trash of Treasure. Today we're going to be talking all about the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows. Now, let me just say, usually I like to wear the products that I'm talking about on my eyes or on my face or wherever it goes. But I'm not wearing them today because I came back from work and I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to wait until tomorrow, let's just bum it. So I'm not wearing it, don't hate me. But I am wearing some super dramatic makeup. As per usual. I've got them in the Z palette and no obviously these are not all of them. You guys know only 10 of them came out so I have some like regular Makeup Geek shadows in here as well and I actually don't have all 10 to show you guys. I know but the thing is not all 10 appeal to me. I have eight of the colors to show you. So let's start off with what this product actually is. So these are new eyeshadows that came out from Makeup Geek and they are supposed to be foiled. Now let me tell you. When the Stila Magnificent Metal Foil Finish Eyeshadows came out, I was like, what the? What is foiled? <laughs> like, that sounds like a really weird way to describe your eyeshadow. But foiled is basically like metallic eyeshadows, like on crack. So, they're supposed to give you that super liquid metal look to your eyes. And like I said, I'm not wearing them today, unfortunately. But I was wearing them in my previous video, which was the cut crease holiday makeup tutorial which I'll definitely link down below if you guys want to see one of them in action. So I'm just going to start off by telling you about the two that I do not have. The first one that I don't have is Center Stage which is like a beautiful blue metallic color. Now I'm not going to lie they are all equally beautiful in my opinion. They're just all stunning but I just don't feel like I would have used the blue one much. You know? And the other one that I do not have is called Showtime. And that one is like a burgundy. It kind of looks like this shadow right here. Where is it? It kind of looks like this shadow. This shadow is called Burlesque. It looks like that, but like metallic and foiled. And I just feel like these kind of colors, I don't really like to use them all over the lid. I prefer to use these like in the crease. And I wouldn't want to have a metallic version of this because then I couldn't put it in the crease. You know what I'm saying? You got it. So... I'm going to go into the colors that I do have. So the first one that I have here, I'm going to zoom you in. I'm going to do that. Let's do that. So the first one I have here is called Houdini. And it's basically just like a beautiful foiled teal color. It's, it's really a stunning, stunning color. This was probably one of the ones that I was the most excited about. Fun fact of the day, teal is my favorite color. So I was so, so excited about this. Even though I didn't think I was going to use the foiled blue, I knew I was going to get a ton of use out of this one. So, I'm going to show you it on my skin. And, live swatch. Next one we have is called Jester. And Jester is another one that I was really excited about. Apparently I like green eyeshadows. But, so Jester is like a lime green, but it has like a gold undertone to it. It's very, uh, very interesting color. And you can see that I nicked them right there. And I have to say, when you nick these shadows, like... You're, you're gonna nick it like real hard. It's not gonna be like a little beep. It's gonna be like a damn like all up in there You basically took out half the product because they are of that kind of creamier texture. So Here is Jester oh, hey. There's Jester right there. I Love this. I wanted to include this in one of my holiday makeup tutorials, but I feel like I kind of did a lot Let me. Th oh, yeah, I probably won't do it, but maybe in a future tutorial I'll include it. So there it is right there and there it is. I just love it. The next one we have here. He, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? This one that we have here is called Grand Stand. And this is definitely going to be a lot of people's favorite colors. It's kind of like a rosy, a rosy gold kind of color. Can I call it that? That's what it seems like to me. Rosy gold. You guys cool with that description? All right. So, let's put it right, right there. That looks rose gold to me. If that doesn't look rose gold to you guys, then I'm blind. So there it is right there. That's Grand Stand. Going to be a lot of people's favorites, like I said. This next one we have here is called Magic Act, which is actually the one that I used in that tutorial that I was talking about earlier. And it is a very pale gold color, and I love this shade. For all over the lid, it's a doffel. So there it is right there. We're going to swatch right next to Grand Stand. So there it is, right there. The next color we have here is Flamethrower, which is another one that everybody is like dying over, myself included. I was so excited to get this color. And I feel like this will 
will be put to a lot of good use. I might go through like eight pans of this. So there is flamethrower, like just, can you imagine this, all over the lid. If you have like green eyes or like any type of hazel in your eyes, I feel like this will be your buddy. So, we're gonna use the other hand and there she is. Do you see the high shine, like intensity? It's like, when you move, it's like bling bling bling. Next one we have is called In The Spotlight, which is this light pale pink color right here. And we're just gonna show you what that looks like. And this one I feel like looks kind of, it looks like Grandstand and Magic Act like mixed together. It's kind of weird, but it just has like a tad more pink in it. It's a very pale pink. And I really do love this one for all over the lid as well. It's one of my favorites. Again, live's watching, live is so watching. The next one we have here is called Caitlyn Rose, and this is like a beautiful, beautiful purple color, and I just couldn't not buy this. Like, this is just on a whole nother level of gorgeous. And this one is actually named after somebody who had batten disease, and all of the profits from this shadow actually goes to the research and to help families that are affected by batten disease, so that's very sad. Special, I would say and so like there was no way I was not gonna buy it like come on so there is Caitlyn Rose right there on top of the fact that it's gorgeous and here she blows beautiful and the last one that I have is called mesmerized and it's just like a taupey silver kind of color but it looks more gunmetal so it's right here you can see like I'm barely touching my fingers in these shadows by the way in case you're wondering so there it is right there and it is just that finish and last one there she goes so these are the eight foiled eyeshadows that I do have like I said I don't have the bright blue metallic one which is called center stage and I don't have the one that is kind of like a wine berry color which is called showtime but these are the eight that I do have I'm just gonna go on to the makeup geek website and I'm gonna read off of there what Marlena the CEO describes them to be and if you guys don't know Marlena well no you do a new experience in cosmetics our plush new shadows have a unique formula that provides a stunning foiled finish with no mixing mediums required this state-of-the-art formula offers a creamy texture that is a hybrid between a powder shadow and a cream shadow that creates an intense opaque pigmentation and metallic and metallic foil finish in just one swipe the shadows can be used with a brush or packed on with your finger for ease of use. The rich colors work amazing over a brace pi or primer, but have the same remarkable staying power without. They do not fade or flake or smudge as easily as standard powder eyeshadows. About the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows, their unique formula provides an opaque foiled finish. They're a Okay, I'm just reading the same thing over again. Yeah, no. No, no. That, that's it. The fact that they can be used wet or dry is something that I particularly love because I really like to use my eyeshadows when they're you know shimmery or anything like that wet because it really amps up the intensity my video where I use magic act all over my eyes I did not use it wet I used it completely dry just because I wanted to see how it performed by itself and honestly when you use them dry they're just they're intense as hell too so it really it makes a difference but like, of course, I prefer it to be wet, but it's good to know that you don't have to use it wet. Moving on, how much do these products actually cost? Each of these pans, the foiled eyeshadow pans, are $9.99 each. Now, Makeup Geek's price is usually $5.99 for each of their regular powder eyeshadows, like these right here. Ew, it's so dirty down there. So, they're usually $5.99, but the fact that the formula is so different, it's going to cost more. And it's probably cost more to make them because their formula is so unique. They don't come in like a compact form. They just have the pan form, which is $9.99 each. Now, the only place that you can purchase these, as of right now, is MakeupGeek.com because that's where they're sold. If you think about the price in comparison to some other eyeshadows on the on the market at the moment that are kind of of the same type or the same formula if you might if you may if you will um they are extremely greatly priced there you are not going to find a foiled eyeshadow for a better price than these the stila magnificent moils moils wow 
The Stila Magnificent Metals Foil Finish Eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure that's the whole name. I don't know. I might have left out like a paragraph or two. Um, they range, well, they, they go for $32 each. And that's like mad money for one eyeshadow, like, bro. But then Anastasia Beverly Hills recently came out with her single eyeshadows and she has the formula called Titanium which is extremely similar in formula to these and those are $12 so still more expensive than the Makeup Geek. So the Makeup Geek is priced amazingly. Now one thing you do have to consider is that even though they are priced so well that's not the only thing you're going to be paying for. You also have to go out and buy something to house them in. If you want to put them in a Z palette or another empty palette, you have to put them in something because they are of that pan type. You can't just have them hanging out all over the place. They gotta go somewhere. So, I, I don't know how I feel about that personally. I kind of like to have, I don't know, an option. But with these, you don't really have the option. It's you buy Z palette or you don't buy anything. <laughs> so, now this Z palette is actually I think from Amazon. You can find Z palette pretty much anywhere. You can even find some in Sephora. You can find some on the Makeup Geek website itself. They have a lot of options of Z palettes which is one thing that is good. And they range in price but they're usually I would say like around 15 to like $30 around. I believe this one was around $18 and this isn't like the huge one. This is I guess like the regular one. Also, for a limited time, Makeup Geek is making their pricing even better. I think it's only for the holidays though, but don't quote me. They are offering a bundle option where you get all 10 of the foiled eyeshadows only for $89.99, which is basically a savings of $10. So it's not a huge savings, but it's a savings. You save where you can. So the packaging on these is, like I said, of that single pan form. I'm like so nervous that I'm going to break the shadow right now. So basically it just comes like this. It comes in a little sleeve, but you don't really keep the sleeve. You just throw it out. It's just disposable. It's nothing special. And it just comes like this. It has a little plastic sheet over it, so your eyeshadow is protected, I guess, during shipping and everything like that. So it comes like this, and you're just like, all right, I need to put it in Z palette. <laughs> now on the back, it just has the name of it. And this one is Houdini, so it's going to say Houdini. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Let's do that. That sounds like a word out of you. So this is the pan for Houdini. I'm freakishly nervous that I'm going to drop this. So if I drop this, guys, you'll cry with me, right? So if you just turn it around, you'll see the name. It just says Houdini, and it says Foiled Eyeshadow right underneath the name. Now for the regular eyeshadows, it says the name of it, and this one is Envy, and then it just says Eyeshadow. So it's pretty similar to the regular packaging on the back. And the front, really, because they're both just single eyeshadows. Wow, these are, like, really similar colors. Okay, no, they're not that similar. So, how's the formula? The formula on these is pretty much as they're described on the website. It is very special because it feels creamy to the touch. It almost, it feels creamy. And you, like, almost think it's a cream, but it's really not. But the pigmentation will make you think it's a cream. This pigmentation is absolutely incredible. This pigmentation... It's literally from a little baby like dip of my hand into the pan like this Beep. and you saw my fingers you saw the swatches I could probably swatch down my arm for like 30 minutes because they're so pigmented I could just go like this so they are ridiculously pigmented and so so creamy one thing that I will say I don't know if it showed up or if you can see it on camera in my video where I use the magic act and like I said, again, it'll be linked down below. I don't know if you could see it, but there was so much fallout. When I was doing that video, it was just like all over my face. And I get it. I think if you use a, like if you wet your brush beforehand, you probably won't have as much fallout as I had. But there was a lot of fallout. It was like all over my face. It was like chunky pieces all over my face. So something to keep in mind. I would recommend you do your foundation or concealer after you do your eyes. Or if you're like me, who you just can't, you just don't do that, it's just not okay with you, then you just take your brush and wipe away the fallout. So do I think these are trash or do I think that they're treasure? I feel like the answer is always kind of obvious, like until I get to the end, you know, it's like it's obvious. I think it's treasure. I think these eyeshadows are incredible. But I do want to say I don't think that everybody should go crazy and like go out and purchase every single one because Nobody needs all 10 of the eyeshadows unless you're like serious, like you're like, I want them foiled eyeshadows. Then you know what? Go crazy. Do what you gotta do. 
but I don't feel like it's necessary. Honestly, even for myself, who I would say wears makeup 70% of the time, that might even be too much. <laughs> so I wear makeup kind of often and I like to try new things when I do wear makeup. I don't really stick with the same look and the same products over and over and over and over again. It's just, it's just not me. So even for me, I think that the ones that I got I'm happy with, I don't think that I would have gotten uses out of the other two that I did not purchase. So I think that you really need to know what you like and know what you would use and just go for that because they're not things that I feel like, oh my god, let's go stop the world and go buy every single eyeshadow from this line. The ones that I think that would appeal to the most people are probably the more neutral tones. So Grandstand I think is going to be a huge favorite, a huge hit, like it's going to be ridiculous. Everybody's going to be obsessed with it and Grandstand is this rose gold shade right here. I also think that Magic Act and In the Spotlight will be a hit, but those are a little bit less wearable because they're a little bit more on the bright side. So this one is In the Spotlight and then this one is Magic Act. So you can see they're a little bit more bright in the sense. So I also think that Flamethrower is going to be an absolute hit. Flamethrower is one that I would say if you're picking up any of them, pick that one up because that one is outstanding. I love that one. and. Again, it just depends on your personal preference. They're treasure, they're amazing shadows. If you were wondering, if you were really, like, your interests were really sparked and you were like, ooh, are those shadows good? They're very good. They're amazing. I really do enjoy them. And I love the fact that you can use them wet. I can't stress that enough because there's a lot of eyeshadows that if you use them wet, you get that film over it. And I'm just like, I hate that film. I have that film on, like, so many of my products. And I'm just like, how do I get rid of this damn film? So I'm so happy that I don't have that problem with these. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I answered all of your questions. If I did not, just leave the rest of them in the comments below and I promise I will answer you as I usually do. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My name is just at katydanger underscore. It's going to be here and it's going to be in the description box down below along with everything that's on my face and everything you could possibly want to know. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think I just got myself dirty. Oh my god, I think I just made it worse. Mama, 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 mama. <laughs> okay. So. I don't have it. You know when you feel a hair? It's just like pissing you off. Like, do you see it? Is it there? Did you tell me if it was there? <laughs> My jam! Cause I'm, 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 I'm,